As many of you have probably heard by now, singer, songwriter, actress Demi Lovato suffered from an overdose today, and she is currently hospitalized. And today I was browsing around on Twitter and there were just some awful, awful tweets. And today I'm gonna be reading them, so stay tuned. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you are new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you out with your mental health and also to decrease the stigma and increase the awareness around mental illness. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel because I try to make as many videos as possible to help you out. So today the problem that we're talking about is the stigma around mental illness, but more so with addiction. There are some awful, awful, awful tweets going around on Twitter today because uh, Demi Lovato had an overdose. Now, I will say, uh, one of the updates around this story is that she is stable, she's doing fine. Um, apparently, her friends had Narcan and they were able to revive her and then she was able to get to the hospital. Narcan saves lives. Um, I'm thinking about doing a video about what happened uh, that led to this overdose. And if you would like me to make a video on this, uh, give this video a thumbs up or leave a comment down below because I definitely have some things to talk about when it comes to her friends and what was going on that led to this overdose. But also, like, we're gonna be talking about the stigma today about uh, mental illness and addiction. So make sure that you share this video because I don't think a lot of people fully understand what's happening and what's going on. So I'm gonna be reading some tweets that I saved. Um, I will say this before I get started. I saw so many tweets saying, you guys are being terrible about Demi Lovato. Uh, you shouldn't be making jokes about what happened to Demi Lovato. I 100% agree, but I will say this. I found more tweets saying that you shouldn't do that than tweets that were actually doing it. So I found that just kind of interesting. But anyways, I'm gonna be reading some tweets that I saved and it's gonna, there's a few different types of tweets. Um, the mean tweets I'm gonna get to at the end. And by the way, I'm not gonna censor this, I don't think. So if you have sensitive ears or if you're a child and you don't like that kind of language, you can go ahead and take off. But I'm gonna be talking about some of the hypocrisy that people were tweeting about as well as something from the Surgeon General. So let's get started. So this first tweet comes from the Surgeon General and it reads, mental health and addiction are chronic conditions that don't discriminate and recovery is not a linear path. I'm praying for you at Demi Lovato. Uh, you have been an advocate for the mental health and substance abuse communities and we stand by you, hashtag pray for Demi. One of the re responses says, you're the most powerful doctor in the country, don't pray, get the administration to improve funding for treatment and research related to uh, mental health and addiction. And then somebody else replied, look at these things, it's not like they're mutually exclusive or something. So I do have something to say about that. Absolutely, absolutely 100%. I am on uh, the, the side where, you know, um, I, I do appreciate when people say thoughts and prayers and stuff like that. I know that's like a thing where people are like, quit saying thoughts and prayers and do something about it. Like, you can do both. Now, a couple things about this specific tweet. Um, when it comes to Demi Lovato, like I, I, I completely agree with what she, what this uh, person tweeted in response. I completely agree with it. But Demi Lovato is like a multimillionaire. Like when it comes to like treatment, like she can afford it. But I'm glad it was said because yeah, we are currently on a path in the United States where we're decreasing mental health care and addiction treatment. We're decreasing funding for that when we're in the middle of an epidemic. So like yes, we need to do that. But I, I do like the fact that they're talking about like yeah, we need to increase. Uh, you know, the funding for research when it comes to addiction and treatment. Like, evidence-based treatment all is treatment that is scientifically proven to help people recover. And we need more funding to see which methods actually work. There's a lot of really cool stuff going on and they're doing some research. But, like, if you think about the war on drugs and the war on cancer, like, when the war on cancer started, they just started funding research like crazy. And the war on drugs, they started locking people up. Like, we need to do what we were doing for the war on cancer and start funding research and finding people more effective ways to receive treatment. But this is a difficult task. I work in an addiction treatment center and it's hard, it's hard, man. These next two tweets, they're um, some hypocrisy that was pointed out, and I do wanna talk about that a little bit. So this first tweet says, it's so funny all these people wanna show their support for addiction for Demi Lovato, some they don't even know, but will turn and give up on friends they've known their entire life the minute they start using. And the next tweet says, Demi Lovato overdoses on heroin and everybody in America is upset, but if it was a local, 
who did everyone calls them bops. I don't know what bops are. Uh, makes fun of them, etc. Y'all different. So I, I I appreciate this getting pointed out. Like, I, as although I'm not somebody who like just goes around and like starts like Twitter drama or anything like that, or I don't like go get like morally outraged. Like, I'm glad that other people do. I'll be honest with you. Like, I'm glad other people do because now I can talk about it. Like, they do tr uh, like talk about some very very true things here. I saw some other tweets where they were comparing what happened to Demi Lovato and then Amy Winehouse and saying Amy Winehouse like people were like talking terrible about her, but now all these people are like, oh my God, Demi Lovato. And you know, maybe it's because, you know, Demi Lovato does pop music or she's like a Disney, you know, child actor and stuff like that. Like who knows? But like, we do need to talk about this. Like this is one of the biggest problems with addiction. It's not just with celebrities. Like there's so many people who stigmatize addiction, they look down on drug addicts and alcoholics, right? And then when it happens to somebody close to them, then that switch flips. Then the light turns on and now they care. Now they see like, oh my God, this can happen to anybody. It doesn't just happen to terrible people. Like there are mo excellent mothers, excellent fathers. There are, you know, people who do a lot for the community that struggle with addiction. It's not just these terrible people. So I do think we need to start looking at that and just start understanding like addiction doesn't discriminate. It can literally affect anybody out there but like like what they're saying is it's like we can't just feel bad for celebrities because they're in the limelight and stuff like that like like i've mentioned in my other video about why i talk about youtube drama on here like we need to take lessons from these things we need to learn from these things and what i mean by this is if you were affected in any way by this demi lovato overdose like you need to really sit back and reevaluate and say huh do i have more compassion for this person i've never met who's a celebrity than i do the guy on the street Right? Do I have, why, why is that? Why is that? Why do I have these, this compassion? Why does my compassion discriminate, if you will? Like, you really need to check in with yourself and see what's going on. Because something I really try to advocate for, and I need to make more videos on this, is just we need to have more empathy and compassion for people in general. We can't just pick and choose who we're gonna be compassionate towards or have a little empathy towards. It needs to be this whole well rounded thing. Like, if you were affected by the Demi Lovato addiction, uh, you know, an overdose, like, See what you can do in your community. See what you can do in your community. There are drug addicts and alcoholics out there living on the streets where if they were to get clean and sober, they might be the next person to make a difference and a positive change in this world. All right, so now let's get to the mean tweets and this is gonna be uncensored because we need to get like the full like brunt of this, but these are the ones that like really break my heart. So let's go ahead and read them. What a great day today. Update for Overwatch came out, one year anniversary of Fortnite is today, huge No Man's Sky multiplayer update was dropped today, GTA 5 nightclub uh, DLC was dropped, and Demi Lovato overdose on drugs, what an amazing day. Like, this is terrible stuff. Like, I, I, I'm sure it was a joke, but like, especially like with the James Gunn situation right now, like, I don't, like, man, Learn, learn, quit watching these videos passively. Like learn from this. Like this might be a kid, this might be a dumb kid. You know what I mean, dumb and sensitive, whatever. But like, it's 2018. Like people are going to dig up your Twitter history. Like if you become anybody in this world, you work your whole life to be successful, people are going to find your Twitter history. Like, is it really worth, like this dude literally has no likes on this. Like, is it worth it? Is it worth it for somebody to go and dig this up for you saying something so terrible and wretched? Like, please learn from other people's mistakes. Like it's 2018, nobody is safe from this stuff. Become a better person. All right, next tweet. How are all of these celebrities gonna feel bad for Demi Lovato? She's a druggie and it was her decision to take heroin. I've done plenty of videos on this. I've been pl done plenty of videos. One of them I'll link up in the info cards up there. Like, there's plenty of diseases out there that are a result of decisions and choices. Sexually transmitted diseases, lung cancer from smoking, heart disease from eating unhealthy or living an unhealthy lifestyle. Like, we need to quit looking at addiction as this different thing. Like, there's so many illnesses out there that are a result of the way people live and the choices they make. I don't get how people can struggle with other diseases because of the choices they make, but for some reason, we need to talk down to drug addicts and alcoholics because they made a choice. Tweet number three. Fuck Demi Lovato, we not gun treat her like a victim. Like, okay, nobody's, I don't know. Some people wanna be, you know, treated like the victim, but like, here's the thing. Like, I just made a video yesterday about uh, borderline personality disorder. Like, you need to understand, you need to understand that probably more than 80% of drug addicts and alcoholics, they, they use these as 
coping tools for this terrible past that they had. Like working in my treatment center, I cannot tell you, I cannot tell you, it's probably 80 to 90% of the people who walk in my office, I sit down and learn to learn about their stories. And we're talking about childhood abuse. We're talking about childhood sexual abuse. We're talking about rape. We're talking about PTSD. We're talking about so many things. And we're like, oh, don't victimize them. They made the choice. Like nobody is living this incredible life. And they're just like, you know what? I'm gonna pick up drugs. I'm gonna become addicted to drugs and just ruin this whole thing. No, most people, most people who become addicted had a terrible, terrible past. And if you watch Demi Lovato's documentary, she had a lot of struggles growing up. Last tweet, Demi Lovato can shove a massive tree trunk up her arse, her own fault and we don't give a shit. Like, and that's the other thing too, no tweets, no or no likes, no likes on this tweet. Like, like why, man? I don't know, I don't know, man, like I get it. I used to be an internet troll when I was a kid and like I might make videos about that and like some of this stuff you mature out of and, and things like that, but, but man, like this is why I teach my nine-year-old son about compassion and empathy and I teach him loving kindness meditations and stuff like that. Like these are humans, these are people. And like I hate to bring like politics in it, but when we look, about, look at what's happening with like immigration and things like that, like it's because we're not looking at people as people, we're looking at them as outsiders or numbers or whatever it is. These are people, okay? Like, I don't care like who it is, but like when there's a death, like it's it's not even the person, but like I, I even if I dislike the person, like I feel bad for their family. I feel bad for their children. I feel bad for their friends. I feel bad for their fans. Like even if their fans have like a messed up view of the world, like I feel bad for anybody who loses anybody. And this kind of stuff is just straight up insensitive no matter what the cause of this harm is. But anyways, like I said, Demi Lovato is going to recover and like I might follow her journey and make some follow-up videos about what she needs to do because I do have some opinions based on the knowledge that I do have about seeing uh, different articles and just the way she lives her lives and stuff like that so um, again like if if you're into this kind of stuff if you want to follow this story or you want help with your mental health or if you want to help other people with your mental health subscribe to the channel go ahead and share this video and all that good stuff but I would love to know what your guys' thoughts are about these tweets and compassion and empathy and the stigma around addiction and mental illness, so make sure that you leave comments down below, all right? So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you are looking for that little subscribe button, it's right there, it's right below this little box, all right? And a big thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon and helping me to spread a message of hope to anybody struggling with mental illness. If you would like to help support the channel, you can click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Get well soon, Demi, and I'll see you guys next time.